fish, it's a net, it's a very safe bet, it's Zamora. Bobby Zamora. Don't give up your day job, Al, that's for sure. <laughs> Two friends. I'm glad you give me the head end. <laughs> on a fishing bucket list tour. Lovely fish. Footballing fisherman Bobby Zamora. That is the greatest fishing moment of my life. And me, Ali Hamidi. Oh, yes! Ooh, it's got to... We're kicking off in the Great British Isles. Look at that coastline. Visiting some of its most iconic angling venues. It's more like the Copacabana. Living it up <laughs> Bankside. This is incredible. Ours is not looking like that, is it? And we'll wow. be catching some of Britain's biggest and best fish. Wow. UK, thank you. Got my new PB. Big gal. This Whoa! is the Grand Fishing Adventure. <laughs> oh, my God. I think we've got an absolute giant on here. Love it, pal. England, known for its iconic cities, quintessential villages, and some of the most beautiful countryside and coastlines on the entire planet. Our seas are home to over 350 fish species, from a shanny to sharks, around 50 freshwater species, from sticklebacks to sturgeon, and there's an estimated 1.3 million passionate anglers in the UK that fish for them, including Zama and myself. Give me some moves, Bob. Come on. Colin. Oh. Yeah. I know I'm a bit more like. Oh That's a bit of me. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you? Is this better than a cup final? Oh, you did play in the cup finals. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Are you joking? Just didn't win just didn't win any cup finals. Oh, didn't ya? This is like winning the cup final though, going fishing with me, no? No? It's a fantastic chance for me to, to experience and learn from the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been retired now for a while. Uh, with this free time, I really want to make the most of my fishing. I was uh, limited opportunities when I could play, limited opportunities to see what I could see around the country. But now I have a chance to go to the lakes I've always wanted to go to, catch the fish I've always wanted to catch. And this right here now is one of those. Our first destination was in deepest, darkest Shropshire. We were heading to an enchanted lake, a hidden gem near to Market Drayton. Mate, I'm excited. I am excited. And so was I as we had arrived. Sutton Lake, one of the last remaining strongholds of enormous true crucians in the UK. This 40-year-old farm lake was stocked with lots of one-inch crucians 16 years ago. Many still survive today, with loads over two pounds, several over three, and a couple that have topped the mighty four-pound barrier, which is just shy of the UK record of four pounds, 14 ounces, a lot bigger than my half a pound PB and Bob's of just six ounces. Oh, this is something very, very magnificent because targeting big crucians is pretty much impossible in this country now, so rare. But if you were going to paint a picture of a lake that held them, this is it right here. Absolutely stunning lake. And we know that there's big fish in here as well. Look, it's lovely chatting to you, but we've got rods to set up. Let's make the most of it. Yeah, 24 hours to catch the biggest crucian of our lives. Let's be honest, there ain't a big target to No, make. <laughs> what is the target? Are we setting one? Let's go two pound. Two pound. So two pounds a target, desperate for that, personally and as a team. But we know what's in here, and they are massive. Look, to catch a two pounder would be good, but deep down inside the paws of Ali Hamidi, I'm going to catch a three pounder. We wasted no time, and I had just the setup that I hoped would bank us a PB. 
Oh, there you go. Have a look at that. So this is a hybrid style feeder. It takes a small amount of ground bait in the base of it, some peters over the top, and in that we've got a sort of really fishy black ground bait. We've also got a green one. Crucians love, for some reason, fish meal green ground baits. And then we've got a cereal one. So three different types that should fizz up on the bottom and really get them to hone in. And then on the top of it, there's literally one real morsel of food they can get in their mouth. And that's a red boily. I'll also try a yellow one. They're both soaked in different juices. They're six mil in size, really delicate, very attractive. I just hope it catches me. The biggest crucian of my life. Wicked. Bob was using the same setup and bait as me to target those wily old cyprinids. Ready to rock and roll. And we brought our stealthy secret weapons with us to get our rigs out. Because crucians love foliage, they're living almost like a perch. They live right under structure, tight into the bank. And this is all overgrown, so you're not going to be able to cast there very easily. So we're going to use what's called a baiting pole, and we're going to be able to put our feeder in it and slide right under the bushes and delicately tip the feeder. They've got no chance, have they? The rods then went, the rods then went onto our biter line. Our second rods. That is in amongst them. All the rods were now, were now delicately on the dance floor. Took the opportunity to sort the accommodation for the night as we were fishing 24, 24 hours straight through. That's the shelter done. Come on, the crucians. Crucians, mystical, picky. They love dawn, they love dusk, so we've got to be those moments. Those moments. Right time. Fish on. Oh. Was this the first crucian or another species? Crucian? Please be a crucian. Oh, it is a crucian. It's well looked. Oh, I think I've done my two pounds already. Oh, go on. Go on, son. Go on. Go <laughs> to hero in about two seconds. Get a look on that bit. What a specimen in that size in my life. I mean, just what's in our net at the minute is, is madness. I don't know how big it is. Was it over the two pound target? Go on, Go on lad. Oh, we'll take that. 214. Target smashed done. It, smashed it. Look at that. That is absolutely wicked. Dorsal, hold the dorsal up. Show the rounded dorsal. Look, the tip of that dorsal, look. That's where it's rounded. That's the difference, you know, and they're just, just absolute characters. Honestly, that is, that is, yeah, that is twice the size of probably the biggest one I've ever, I've ever seen. I've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> mega mate. Thank you, little fella. The adulation is just miniature perfection. It's it's a giant of the miniature world. Mega, two pound fourteen. Get in there. Go on, mate. You are an absolute one of the best fish I've ever caught. We just needed Bob to catch a two pound plus for it to be crucians complete. But would it happen? Oh, go on, Bob. It looks like a perfect early morning wake-up call for Zamo. Yes! Oh. Oh, oh, man. Man. oh, well done, Bob. Don't think it's going to beat Ali's, but I do think it might just scrape £2 and definitely a PB for me. Bob was wrong. We couldn't believe what our tired eyes were seeing. £3.5? £3.5? They must Wait. look smaller in the dark. That is, is that, right? that is unbelievable. What an absolute beautiful creature. He's off the Richter regarding a specimen. You're talking 
five, nearly 50 pound equivalent carp. All right, that is unreal. Well done, Bob. Cheers, pal. Definitely a younger and better looking fish than yours and all. Just like myself. As you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a goal at Wembley. It really is. Thank you very much. We'd now well and truly smashed the first mission out of the park and still we had a short window of opportunity before the sun fully rose when typically Crucian switch off. Could this be the giant Crucian I'd always dreamt of? Please stay on. Come on. Oh, that's a lump. That is a joke of a fish. Go on, it's got to be free. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, that's massive. That's got to be bigger than me. <laughs> that's huge. This got... Yours, I certainly think, had a bit more length. And mine had a bit more girth. And that is both. Oh, an amazing fish. It looks so... Big, so, you know, when it started rolling. Oh, that's, that's bigger than my first one. Could be even bigger than Bobby's. Oh, I am so happy. I've caught a three pound three crucial, pounds. three pound nine. Yes! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is one of my ultimate fishing dreams. Nailed. I've never seen a Wow, what a start to our shop adventure, Crucian Dream. Our UK tour was off to a flyer with Zamo and I making a beautiful £3 plus Crucian car. Yes! And we were now arriving at one of the premier big car venues of the entire UK. I've got to say, I'm a little bit nervous. Well, I've never fished the UK for carp of this size ever. We were right to be anxious. I give you the avenue, a sublime 10-acre syndicate that holds an eye-watering stock of 150 hand-picked pristine carp, with a staggering 60 carp over 40 pounds, with 15 of those being over 50 pounds, including the heavyweight champion of the lake, Sweet Cheeks, at just over the sensational 60 pound barrier. So the fish in this lake look incredible. If I could liken them to football players, they would be up there with the best. So you've got your Cristiano Ronaldo's, your Lionel Messi's. Absolutely mega. Expectation wise, Knowing what's swimming around in there, it's hard to have anything less than the thought of beating your UK PB. We'd set ourselves the monumental mission of both beating our current UK carp PBs. The bar was set, and it was set high. But this was a 10 fish a season tricky syndicate water, so it certainly wouldn't be a pushover. Swim choice and then rig positioning would be key. After seeing some fish and gathering some local intel, we began tackling it from the south bank, with Bob in swim five and myself in swim seven. The lake itself has a raised bar in three sections. This acts as a super highway for the carp. Fishing just off this bar would be our starting approach, as all carp across the globe love structure. Feature, carp, it's like a magnet, the two come together. We're going to be honed into this area and we're going to get some food down there for them big carp because one thing I like to give them is a bit of grub. So we were embarking on the mother of all baiting campaigns with a mix of boilies, pellets, particles and tiger nuts to create buffet areas just off the underwater bar. And for now, the carp could eat for gratis. Give them food and they will come. We had a master plan to not actually fish the first night, so no lines in the water and a free confidence-boosted meal for the carp. We had about five kilos each to feed, so we had our work cut out. 